Deep learning is a branch of machine learning algorithm that sort of mimic how human brain actually works. Deep learning has been used as a call algorithm for uh, major companies such as Google, Microsoft, and Facebook. Jing is a uh, open infrastructure to uh, support deep learning as a service uh, for a wide range of applications such as speech recognition, uh, image recognition, uh, and natural language processing. With Gin and Tonic, what we've done is we've created a suite of seven applications that all share a common machine learning technique, which is deep neural networks, DNNs. Gin and Tonic is composed of two different systems. We have the Gin web service, which is designed to run in the data center and accept queries over the network. All these queries will be funneled to the same web service that we call Gin. These different applications are encompassed in Tonic Suite. The Tonic Suite are these seven applications that, that all share this common uh, machine learning technique to do their complex processing. What this means is that we're able to accept user questions from intelligent personal assistants and process them in a common framework that shares the same algorithms. This is very advantageous from a data center perspective because we're able to optimize for one common technique, the deep neural networks. One of the interesting discoveries we're making is that accelerators are going to be on the critical path of how we design future data center architectures. With the gin and tonic paper, we focused in on GPUs. These are graphics processing units. And looked at how you can co-design the software infrastructure for deep learning, as well as the server uh, hardware architecture to get a highly optimized system to maximize the number of users a single server can support and a data center can support, and also to minimize the latency of users that are interacting with uh, an application that requires machine learning per query. So we used a multiple very beefy GPUs to actually achieve very high throughput. So we're looking at 100x uh, throughput improvement in terms of processing those information for applications such as speech recognition, facial recognition, and image processing. The fact that we optimize it towards the GPU system make it very easy for a software or machine learning researchers to have very optimized performance just out of the box. They can get the best performance out of their network, don't have to worry about to optimizing for hardware. I'm really happy that we've been able to add something valuable to the ecosystem of open source software. Now that we have Jin, uh, it's much easier to build the kinds of applications that require uh, machine learning with the release of Jin and Tonic, uh, a startup or uh, an individual at home who would like to be creative and try new things can take Jin and Tonic and out of the box have end-to-end -to -end tools that they can use to construct new and creative things.